What is up YouTube? I'm back again with another review. So I already reviewed my Czechoslovakian M10 um, and now I'm going to show you guys how to install the cheek filters. So the cheek filters are pretty famous for being a pain in the ass and they are if you've never done it before. Um, I already installed this one for simplicity of the video to show you guys what the end result is supposed to look like versus how it looks like when you're doing it on a brand new gas mask or you just have to put new ones in. So basically on the inside of the gas mask you got your um, I guess your buttons and your loops that they that the rubber stretches around and uh, basically it's gonna slip into that pocket so we're gonna try and not rip out the, the rubber um, supposedly that's happened with these um, from what I've heard from other collectors I myself have accidentally ripped an M17A1 by doing that, but that's a different story. So you want to go ahead and remove the uh, rubber cover, which, seeing as you can see the, the glue, um, yeah, they're kind of nasty, but oh well. And you just slide it in. I always thought that it was easier to do it on these than M17s. I don't know why. Maybe it's because... I always had a new M or M10s, and they have this uh, weird, like, I don't know, flaky stuff on them that kind of makes it a little bit slippery, so it helps you a little bit. Basically, what I try to do for the fir very first step is try and have the corner of the filter at the corner of where it's supposed to be. So the, basically the, the only part that you really got to work at is this end corner piece, which can be a pain. And you'll pretty much destroy your thumb trying to do it. Now because these seem thinner than the M17 filters, I'm really trying not to bend the filter so I don't want it to, to break. And there'd just be charcoal all over the gas mask. Alright, so it's in there. Now you just gotta sort of put this rubber lip around the uh, intake. Some people really like this design that they that your filter intake screws into the filter. I don't like that my opinion it's worse with the American one the rubber just stretches around there and you uh, with how far it stretches basically means that it's airtight and now the fun part of putting these buttons on there like so and it's been a long time since I've actually done this but I'm surprised it's going as quick as it is that one. Now I suppose I could have done these ones earlier to make the video even faster, but I didn't want to have to turn around and undo them anyways. So this tutorial could work for your M17s uh, and your Polish ones, um, but this is on how to install them for your Czechoslovakian M10 or M10M. So the filters are installed. Could just throw these pieces away if you really wanted to. Now I'm going to do a seal check to make sure that they're installed properly. So when you see the mask collapse, that's how you know you're getting a good seal. If I close the intakes, and you can't breathe, that's how you know it's sealed properly. So, But of course that's only when you're covering these. So that is how to install cheek filters into your Czech M10M or your M10. Um, this will also work for your M17s or uh, pretty basically any copy of the M17. So hope you guys found this video useful. If you guys have any questions about this thing, just go ahead and let me know and have a nice day.